Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for May 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the month of May. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, just tell me a little bit about what you'd like to get a little more clarity on and I'll get you set up. Yeah, so this is an energy, a general energy reading, okay? So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, allow the situations to just fall where they fall for you. If it resonates and it resonates and I'm not um, describing it exactly as it stands, then just place it where it fits, okay? We are, I'm, I'm gonna be speaking from the perspective of the Sagittarian here, but we do have cross watchers, so it could, it could go either way, okay? Um, now, keeping it cute, um, I'm doing, I'm starting with the tarot, okay, and then I'm going to doing the, um, I'm going back to putting the oracle guidance at the end, but instead of using the oracle of the unicorns, this time I've decided to go with the crystal mandala deck this month, just to give us some more clear, concise, maybe a little more, um, specific guidance for you guys, okay? All right, Sag, I believe that's it, so let's just get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for May 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Sag. So in the pre-shuffle, um, Temperance came out, which is you. And that came out with the Nine of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Pentacles. Um, and underneath the deck was the Knight of Cups. So uh, I, there's a big change that's going on here karmically for you, Sag. Um, some of you are really breaking free from some sort of lack mentality, and you're like gaining your power back. You're gaining some sort of autonomy. Some of you may be more financially successful now than you have ever been in the past, potentially. Um, but there is a deeper sense of balance here uh, when it comes to potentially money, finances, something like that. Um, the Knight of Cups being underneath the deck is talking about living from a more heart-centered space. Um, I do feel like there is an energy of, you know, greater self-belief here. Like, you don't have to live the way your ancestors lived um, if there was some sort of vow of poverty, um, especially if this is, has something to do from, like, a past life or, you know, just even this life, like your, your immediate family, your parents, your grandparents, whatever. That's for some of you. All right, Saj. I'm going to give this three, three shuffles, and then we will get into your messages for the month. For my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus here for the month of May 2019. Saggy Sag. One last shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got. All right. Here we go, Sag. Sagimitaz. <laughs> All righty. Overall energy for you, Sag. We've got... Okay, wait. Okay, wait. There was also... Uh, 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 there was another card that came out in the pre-shuffle, and that was the Knight of Swords. And I was like, ooh, are we charging off into battle? And then I, actually, I remember now, after that was the Knight of Wands. I feel like the Knight of Wands was with something else, but I don't remember now. Um, so... There was, uh, there was really, there's an energy of charging forward, okay? Of not letting anything get you down, leaving the past behind you, being ready to fight and defend yourself, fight for yourself and defend yourself um, in, in, in the case or in the event that someone tries to knock you down. Well, overall energy, Knight of Swords. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? I do feel like this is more of a defensive energy. I don't feel like you're looking to pick a fight, Sag, but if someone picks a fight with you, you're not, you're not afraid to throw down, <laughs> okay? Woo, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is very good. And especially for a Sagittarian energy, man, this is weird, true, um, but you're making steady progress, okay? I really do feel like for some of you, you're making steady progress financially. 
All right, underneath the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Sag, so you're really in it for the long haul right now, and you're really not about to let anybody get in your way. Six of Cups is underneath that, all right? So yeah, you really could be dealing with some things from the past, from childhood, from past lives, ancest ancestral karmic cleansing of sorts, potentially. Um, you could also realigning with your dreams, like some things that you may have always wanted to do, but you never got the chance to do it, you might be taking that time to do that now. You also, some of you actually might be investing in some sort of family, looking to invest in some sort of family, or at least get the ball rolling so that you can fulfill that dream of having a family, okay? That's very nice, Sag. So let's get into the messages here. First set, uh, first half, second half of your reading. So check it out. You can look at this as the first half and second half of your month. You can. I recommend that you look at it just like take all the messages. Just look at it as the first half of the reading, the second half of the reading. Just take all the messages and allow them to fall wherever they fall, okay? Time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. Alrighty? First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. You've got, wow. The Knight of Wands again, okay. This is you. I do see the Knights and the Pages as the mutable energies and that would be Sagittarius in terms of the fire signs. Uh, I really do feel like you are very, very inspired here. Okay, you're going on your own path. You're going in your own direction. You got all these Knights here. So there's almost like an adolescent wonder to this or like, you know, the wonder of a, uh, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, you know, you're immature or anything. I just, what it, this feels like with all of these nights here, this just feels like you're just, you're really ready to start something new. You're probably very passionate about it, which makes sense. You're a Sagittarius, you're a fire sign, um, but you're gung ho and just ready to go. Okay. Knight of Wands is coupled with, Wow. The Five of Swords, okay. Um, to me, this Five of Swords is hate, are haters. The Five of Swords here, these are haters. And I, this is what I'm talking about, about you with this Knight of Swords energy that's in the overall energy. You're not looking to fight anybody, but if someone picks a fight with you, you're not, you're not afraid to throw down. Like you're not afraid to put them in their place. And I don't blame you. Um, I really feel like you're striving or you're thriving and you are, you're shining too. Like you're, you feel great. You're on top. You know, you, you're in control of your life. You know where you want to go. You know what you want to accomplish and even maybe how to get there. And so there are some people around you that are super jealous about it. Hey, that's their problem. Don't hate y'all. This is very much a it's very much a don't hate the player hate the game situation. I can't stand that saying, but it's kind of what I heard. It's what I'm what it feels like. And in this sense, the game would be the game of life. So actually, this does that makes perfect sense. Um, don't hate the player hate the game. Like you're just playing the game and you're winning now, and they hating. They can they can go hate somewhere else for all I care, <laughs> yo. Because it's not even like it's gonna stop you. It might be a minor nuisance, but it's not gonna stop you, because you're not gonna let it. All right. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Sag. You've got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, the Sword of Truth, the knowledge, and this is actually what's really helping you drive yourself forward. You have the understanding about something, whatever this could be, but you have the knowledge, you have the wisdom to see through the bullshit, to cut out the bullshit, and to just keep moving forward. Excellent, Sag. Um, yeah, Ace of Swords is coupled with the Four of Cups. Okay. Yeah, you know, I was going to say this Ace of Swords might be a realization sometime in the month of May. Um, for some of you, this is a situation in which you, you there's an unrequited love situation or maybe some sort of missed opportunity that I don't think you're fighting for anymore. Like, I, I, active, I kind of see... I see that I'm, now I'm getting two things, but the first thing I'm seeing is that, you know, I'm seeing you cut yourself or cut out some sort of situation that, you know, is somewhat rejecting you or like someone like stopping from stopping yourself from um, 
pursuing someone or something that just isn't really working out in your favor. For others of you, this could be a, a realization, an aha moment, an epiphany uh, um, that allows you to get out of this funk, get out of this boredom here with the Four of Cups. It kind of like allows you to turn the situation around. Cool. Your challenge in the first half of the month, or I'm sorry, the first half of your reading here, you have the chariot. Okay, so this is Cancerian energy. You could have a Cancer in your chart. You could be dealing or, or um, sorry, <laughs> or um, connecting with a uh, Cancerian. Um, but your challenge here is to stay grounded and stay balanced. Your challenge here is to stay balanced because you have this energy, like you, you have movement, okay? This is kind of, this really is the theme of your month between the three knights that we have here, knight of swords, knight of wands, knight of pentacles. But the thing about it is you really need to work on staying balanced, staying grounded so that you can maintain your momentum and really keep moving towards whatever you are, your goals are with this Ten of Pentacles energy that's in your sights. And it's so funny, the Ten of Pentacles, I just real, uh, 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 realized this or saw it this way, but the Ten of Pentacles is in your overall energy. And the way it's fallen, it's like you have the Knight of Pentacles that's looking right at that Ten of Pentacles and moving towards it. Okay. That's really cool. And then in your challenge here, you have the chariot. And this is the first half of the, the, the reading here. So staying balanced, staying grounded. That's what they keep saying. The chariot is coupled with, yep, the four of swords. Staying balanced, staying grounded, making sure that you, you're resting when you need to. Meditation is key. Maintaining a clear mind, okay? That's really cool though, Sag. Your closing message or potential outcome here in the first half of your reading, you got the Empress. Abundance is upon you, Sag. I heard fruitful labor. Whatever it is you're, you're moving towards, I really feel like the energies are very, very fertile. The, the environment is very fertile for you to really take off here, okay? Maybe you really are trying to, to, to start a family. Um, and I really feel like, well, maybe you're super fertile and that's great. <laughs> um, this just feels like an encouraging, a loving, a compassionate, and understanding energy that's going to really allow you, a nurturing energy that's really going to allow you to flourish, yeah? The Empress is coupled with the Eight of Cups. Leaving the past behind you. I feel like this is also some sort of encouragement. If you do need to leave anything behind, or maybe if you have left something behind recently, um, you'll be okay. There is no lack of abundance here. You got it. Because you got it like that. We all got it like that. Because we're part of the universe you know the only thing that cuts us off from the from our abundance is our own thoughts and so for those of you that are maybe cl uh, clearing up some sort of ancestral money problems or just like vows of poverty or I don't know even if it's just from this lifetime um, you are absolutely able to walk away from that and walk into some new form of abundance okay and it's not even like it's a new form of abundance. You've always had it. It's always been there. It's just maybe you didn't realize it. Maybe you didn't recognize it. And now you're taking that power back. Beautiful. Getting into the second half of your reading here for a set of surrounding energies, you have, wow, there's that five of pentacles. This is literally what we were just talking about here. Okay. Um, yeah, we were literally just talking about that. Five of pentacles is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. Looky here, Sag. I mean, these two came out in the pre-shuffle. And I sat here and shuffled these cards while I was telling you about the pre-shuffle. Y'all heard it. There is a... Yep. Now, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm stopping myself from saying that there is a big change that's happening. But all everybody's going through some really big changes right now. 
it's just the time for it okay and it's beautiful for some of you this absolutely has to do with money but it also could deal with some sort of rejection maybe feeling rejected it doesn't just have to do with money okay some sort of rejection that's changing and i really feel like the change that's coming through with this wheel of fortune is how you feel about yourself and or the situation yes second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here you've got Ooh, the lovers. Gemini energy, potentially. Um, having to make a choice. Coming into divine union with yourself. Coming into alignment with yourself. And you know, this karmic change that's happening here for you, Sagittarius is very much, you, it's literally a choice. It's literally a choice. You can either remain in that energy or you can choose to not be in that energy, simply put. I mean, you could see the, 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 the destitution or the five of pentacles energy, the, the um, rejection or feeling rejected, whatnot, whatever, feeling out in the cold. You could see that as Adam in front of the burning bush, which would be vice. Virtue being choosing your, wow, I just heard divine wisdom. But vi uh, a virtue would be Eve with the, uh, the fruit, um, the tree of life here, who's looking up to the angels. Who's, uh, it's, it's almost as if she's looking up to the universe. She's remembering her divinity. She's remembering who she is. And she's recognizing that and she's accepting it. Whereas Adam is just kind of like staring down at the ground like, I don't know who I'm in what my life is, is good. And it's like no bro it doesn't have to be that way yes the lovers is coupled with ah, the ace of pentacles oh my gosh sag this is so cool this is so cool like you're literally look at and look at even how they're they're landing on the table um adam is covered you're choosing to remember who you are you're choosing to remember your divinity and that is setting you up for a brand new reality a brand new manifestation. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you have justice, Libra energy. But um, karmic justice, some of, your, some of you may have to deal with some karmic justice. Interesting. There could be some sort of legal situation that you're dealing with. Maybe a divorce. I don't know. But what I'm feeling with this is your challenge in the second half of the reading is just dealing with allowing the karmic justice to play out. Allowing, allowing justice to take hold. It might take a long time. You may, have been, you may have been dealing with this for a long time. There could be some patience, some, 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 some restlessness or a, a lack of patience with the situation. I mean, even if this is just kind of starting out, just getting the ball rolling here, you're looking off into the future like, oh my God, this is going to take forever, or, ah, something like that. Justice is coupled with, oh, the sun, Leo energy also. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. You could have uh, a Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but basically, everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to work out in your favor here, Sagittarius. I, th I really feel like what this challenge is speaking to is some sort of restlessness, maybe even reckless energy that you might be dealing with, experiencing, feeling. But it's going to work out. And even though, even for some of you that are having to deal with some sort of karmic justice, in the end, it's going to be okay. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you wrong or anything like that. It's literally like what, what the universe is saying about it right now. It's literally just cause and effect. You know, that's all it is. And there really could be something that you could learn from that. So just pay attention, right? Especially so that you don't necessarily, so you don't recreate that situation again later on, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, you've got, oh, Ooh, the lovers. There could be a new relationship coming through for you. You could be aligning with someone. But also, this, to me, first of all, is the minor arcana version of, wait, did I say the lovers? No. This is the two of cups. <laughs> 
but I was getting ahead of myself. I was, I was saying um, that this is the two, this is the minor arcana version of the lovers here. So this choice that you made or you're having to make, you could be making over this month is directly aligning you or, or, or directly um, setting you up for a deeper sense of alignment or a deeper sense of union within, right? Which ultimately could bring you an alignment with a soulmate in some way and woo. Two of Cups is coupled with Four of Pentacles. This doesn't this doesn't feel bad, Sag. Even though the Four of Pentacles Pentacles can be a miserly energy, a hoarding type energy, it's Taurus energy. Um, I think this is you standing your ground and becoming way more stable and solid in yourself, in your physical manifestation. This also could be financial, finances, uh, financially speaking, or finances, right? Um, I just see this with the Two of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Uh, the Two of Cups representing some sort of union is taking place within. Um, alignment is taking place within here. I do feel like... The Four of Pentacles is the, I guess you could say, rooting of that. The foundation, it's setting, it's like, it's almost like the house, you, when you're building a new house, you have to lay the foundation and you have to let it set before you can construct the rest of the house. That's kind of what I feel like is happening here. Your foundation is setting in. And then also keep in mind, you do have the Six of Cups here which is underneath the deck and the overall energy. So you really could be lining up with a soulmate. Maybe even doing some healing and clearing and cleansing in order for you to line up with a soulmate if, in fact, you are looking to start a family. Yes? All right, Sag. Let's get into your oracle guidance for this month. Giving us three shuffles here for my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Ah. All right, here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for Sag. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019. Ah. There it is. Card number 46, Goddess Kali and Black Obsidian. Sacred Revolution. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Sacred Revolution. We bring you the empowerment of Sacred Revolution. Revolution comes when a cycle of authority or power is ending. It has become inadequate for the task of leadership now required and a new order must be established in its place. It is not simply a chapter within a book drawing to a close, but an entirely new book, perhaps an entirely new genre, opening up according to divine will unfolding. In such cases, subtle change is not going to cut it. You need radical action to bring about the new order. That new order may be in your world or in your own being. <clears throat> when revolution is sacred, the new order will be that which allows you to become more of yourself to successfully attain your spiritual goals. Well, well, there you have it, Sag. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of June. Yes? Take care. Mwah. Bye.